Hi, my name is Lolex. In today's lesson, we'll be taking a look at the active and passive voice, more specifically in the present perfect continuous tense. Active voice means that the subject of the sentence is doing the action. Passive voice, it is the object of the sentence that is doing the action. Generally, we use the passive voice when the focus is on the action and not on who or what is performing the action. Passive voice in the present perfect continuous tense is awkward to speak or read. So it is generally not used in the English language. Here in the given table, we elaborate the rules of the active and passive voice and then we will look at some examples in the present perfect continuous tense. Active voice. First is the subject, followed by have or has, and then been, followed by the fourth form of the verb, followed by the object. In the passive voice, we have the object coming first, followed by have or has, then been, then being, and then the third form of the verb, and maybe we use the special preposition by, and lastly, the subject. The third form of the verb is the past participle form. For regular verbs, this can be made by adding ed to the base form. So for example, cook becomes cooked. With irregular verbs, they end with en, t, d, or n. So swell becomes swollen, burn becomes burnt, hope becomes hoped, and break becomes broken. The fourth form of the verb is the present participle form of the verb. These are simply the ing form of the base verb. So cook becomes cooking, watch becomes watching, run becomes running, and speak becomes speaking. Let's look at a few examples. I have been charging a battery. This sentence is in the active voice. A battery has been being charged by me. Now we have converted the same sentence into the passive voice. I is the subject, have been charging is the verb, and battery is the object in the active voice. In the passive voice, battery has become the subject, has been being charged is the verb, and me becomes the object. They have been building a house. This sentence is in the active voice. A house has been being built by them. Now we have converted the same sentence into the passive voice. They is the subject, have been building is the verb, a house is the object for the active voice. In the passive voice, a house becomes the subject, has been being built remains as the verb and by them becomes the object. That concludes today's lesson. If you have any questions or doubts, please leave a comment. Thank you.